Hey guys, hey guys, hello, hello, hello. My name is Greta Berishira and I'm dating and relationship coach for women. And I coach women how to be women of high value and bring out the best in their man. And today's topic is um, I coach women how to be high value in life and in relationships, okay? So today's topic for you ladies is how men manipulate women and what I will do I will share with you three very very common games on how men manipulate women okay they are really common and after that we can talk discuss and I'm here to answer your questions okay so let me just refresh because I want to see uh, the super chat on my screen as well so I'm just looking for my own live to pop up on my screen. For some reason, it doesn't seem to pop. Here go. Here it is. I see my own live. Good morning. Good morning from California. Okay, perfect. Now I have something called like super chat. Apparently you can donate or something like that. Anyway, okay. So how men manipulate women okay and why we do that and how to handle the manipulation okay so you have the power not him right so actually this is really annoying i'm gonna turn off that uh, screen <laughs> so let's start with the game one so first why men manipulate women men manipulate women to have a power over them all right, because relationship is actually a bit of a power game it's like like you want to have a power, so he treats you like a queen, but sometimes he wants to have a power, so you stroke his ego. However, then the interesting thing is when a woman has the power in a relationship, everyone's happy. It is, it is really crazy, but this is how it works. When a woman has the power in a relationship, the guy is happy and the woman is happy. Why? Because when a woman has the power in a relationship, the guy is pursuing her, the guy is sweeping her off her feet, the guy is being nice, caring, all of that, right? So she's happy because she's getting her needs met. She's feeling secure. She's feeling confident. She's feeling looked after, right? She's getting her needs met. And a woman's need is safety and security. A woman's need is actually a guy providing her with protection, right? Now, um, then the guy and the guy is happy because when the guy is pursuing a woman, it makes him feel good. It actually fulfills his love need, which is uncertainty. Men need uncertainty because of testosterone, because we are actually born hunters and pursuers. So in order for a man to love a woman, a woman needs to be a challenge. She needs to be high value. And um, like when she's a challenge, she's high value, she's putting herself first. And when he's pursuing her and when he doesn't know 100% is she crazy about him or not, this is when his love need is fulfilled because she has the power. So he's coming after her and he's like trying to sweep her off, her off her feet. For example, ladies, if you think about your own relationships you know when the guy was crazy about you very likely that you were not that interested in him right so you were like mm, I'm not sure do I like him I maybe don't like him and he was like pursuing you and sweeping you off your feet and he, he's like like me like me I'm cool I'm nice I'm I'm the perfect guy and you're like mm, I'm not sure I'm not sure and he was like so obsessed with you right but as soon as you fell for him, so then you had the power, right? He was sweeping you off your feet. He was trying to impress you. And he was happy, right? He was happy doing that. He was happy to receive this uncertainty because if he would have not been happy, he would, he would have not been pursuing you in the first place. If he would have been like, oh, this woman is not that interested. So it doesn't make me feel good he wouldn't pursue you, but because it made him feel good, he kept pursuing you. And guess what? He made you happy because you got your needs fulfilled. You got your safety and security. So when a woman has the power in a relationship, she's happy because her safety is uh, fulfilled 
and a man is happy because that uncertainty is fulfilled. The problem is when a man has the power in a relationship, right? This is when everything fails. All relationships fail. The woman is taken for granted, walked all over, abused. She's crying. She's calling guys all the names on earth. And the guy is not happy either. Why is he not happy? Because you giving him safety and security is not fulfilling his love needs. So he's either looking around or taking you for granted, walking all over. You both are unhappy when a guy has that power. Okay, because when a guy has the power and you're giving and pursuing and chasing and acting needy, you're actually acting like a man and you're giving him a lot of safety and security. A man's love need is not safety and security. A man's love is uncertainty. A man's love need is him chasing you. So... Yeah, when you do that, he's unhappy because he's like, I'm not sure why I don't like her. I'm not sure why I don't love her anymore. I'm not sure why I don't want to have sex with her anymore. I'm not sure why I'm feeling attraction for her. And you're like, you know, try and give and give and give and you're warning yourself out and you're feeling like you're taken for granted and you're not happy because you're not getting your needs fulfilled, fulfilled either, right? So this is how it is. So actually, love is a bit of a power game, but it only works fully and only both people are happy when a woman has a bit more power than a man does in a way that she's a bit more of a challenge and she's providing him just with the right amount of uncertainty. Not like crazy uncertainty like some of you think. You don't need to be a bitch. You don't need to be cold as ice. You know, just a little right amount. And how to give the right amount? Put yourself first. Put your kingdom first. That's the right amount of uncertainty. You don't need any more. Anything more than that, games and stuff like that, that's unhealthy. That's a toxic way how to give a guy uncertainty. Anyway, today's topic was not about that. Today's topic was about free games, free very common games that guys play on women. And ladies, if you want to share some games, please make comments of the games and I will read them out as well. Okay, and I'll talk with you about those games, all right? So uh, maybe it does make sense to turn my laptop on so I can see your comments better. Okay, so the game, yeah, it does make sense, okay. (laughs) The game number one, the most common one, I've written them down. Oh, it's actually on Wikipedia, This game is on Wikipedia, Wikipedia, it's on it. I seen it. (laughs) I was like, this is so insane. Who puts a manipulation game on Wikipedia? It's like a person who does not know this game, a guy who does not use this game, he doesn't have internet at his house. It's literally on Wikipedia. It's insane. Okay, I seen it. It's the most common one ever. Here it is. So you meet a guy, right? Maybe you're being a challenge. Maybe you're not that interested and you're like playing hard to get and you're cute and all of that. And he's pursuing you. He's sweeping you off your feet. He's coming after you. He's sweeping you off your feet. Babe this, babe that. Let me take you here. You're the most beautiful. You're the most this, you're the most that. He's sweeping you off your feet, right? And then you're kind of like, oh, he's so nice. He thinks I'm the most amazing girl in the world. He thinks I'm so beautiful. He's texting me all these hearts all the time. Oh, look at this. This is so cute. Oh, you know, like his kiss, all of that. You know, you're like, this is so sweet. And then out of the blue, you guys go out. And that day you get zero attention. And all that attention goes to your friend, right? Right? What do you do then? If you don't, if you're not aware of this game, you're gonna panic. <laughs> you're gonna be like, "Look, I thought I am the one. I am the most beautiful. I'm the most amazing. Did those kisses mean nothing? Was all this pursuit and all these charms was it a lie? You're a liar." 
you're going to start going insane if you don't understand that this is just a game, the manipulation game to see how well you react, to see are you hooked on him already, okay? So he starts giving some compliments to your friend. Maybe he's quite quite um, smart with the compliments. Maybe he just compliments her bag or maybe the clothes, or maybe he says, like, you have a nice style, or, you know, like, maybe she's single, and he'll say, like, any man would be lucky to have you, and the jealousy wives are going in your mind like crazy, why is he not giving me attention, is he attracted to her, all of this, and all of that, right, so what do you do in this, in this um, case, you totally ignore it, you say, yes, 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 she is, you know, like you reassure you, you're like basically, you just basically ignore it. You know, you ignore it. You don't pay any attention to that. You're happy that he's giving attention to your friend because he's like, oh, he's trying to impress my friend. That's good. He likes my friends. You're staying positive, positive thoughts in your mind only. Why? Because all, all that he is doing, he's just putting a show for you. If he was actually interested in your friend, he would do it behind your back. There is no need for him to do it in front of your face. Anything what happens in front of your face, it's a show for you. It's a show to get a reaction. So when the guy is making a show in your face, I would look at it as a compliment. I literally would be like, oh my God, all this show? For me, and you're actually looking into my eyes, you're giving me an eye contact while you're providing the show for me, just to make sure that I'm watching you, that I can see that. Oh my God, you're so sweet. You shouldn't have really. Okay, so you ignore it. Once you'll ignore it, you'll be like, oh my God, she's safe and secure. And maybe she's not that interested in me anymore because she's not reacting. She's not reacting. I've been pursuing this girl for a month, two months, three months, maybe a couple of weeks. She's still not reacting. She's still not hooked on me. You know, I better step it up and keep pursuing her. Okay, that's game one. Write it down. It's in Wikipedia. Get ready, girls. <laughs> Dating is not that um, innocent. Right, the second step, the second game. Um, takes information. Oh, okay. So you're on a date. So what he does, he listens to all that um uh he asks you questions, right? He asks you questions. And then he tells you exactly what you like to hear. To pretend to be this type of guy that, you know, could be your, let's see, a dream guy. So he says like, oh, so what do you like in a guy? What is it that you're looking for? And you tell him all, he'll be like, oh, I am that guy. Uh, I am that guy. Flattery, promises. It's just like he's got, he's, he has all the information of a guy that you're looking for because you gave it to him on a plate. Now he's going to take all that information and he's going to manipulate you with it in order to get into your, yeah? So when he's like, I'm this and I'm this and I'm that and I'm charming and flatteries and promises and blah, 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 blah. Then you're like, oh my God, I met my prince charming. Where have you been? Like, I'm crazy about you, Right. And then he gets into your pants and it's, you know, finito, kaput, it's done, over. Um, depends, it depends, not always. If you behave high value, if you behave correctly, then it's, it's fine. But if you've been naive and gullible and you just gave him all the information on your dream guy and you've been more naive and gullible and more desperate and he took the information, he pretended to be the Prince Charming, done. This is the game number two. This is very common, like really common. Um, oh, this is the third one, which was not that common maybe four years ago. It was not a common game. Um, I personally, when this game was played on me, yes, I've been through majority of the games <laughs> myself, experienced it. Um, 
nailed it is. Um, anyway, this game was not that common four or five years ago. It was quite, you know, it was not common. Nowadays, it's very, very common. It's very common. And what is it? It's uh, not contacting you for one week to make you freak out and panic. Okay, this is what guys do. They um, they give you flattery. They give you promises. They there for you. All of that. They pursue. They like. And I think she's already hooked on me. And then he pulls away and doesn't contact you for let's say a week to see will you freak out and panic and will you chase him, okay? Or will you get insecure and go like, what's wrong? They thought you're into me to have a power over you. So what do you do in this case? If like there is a thing like a pull away and it's a natural need that you need to let him pull away, but there is a thing like a game as well. And the, the difference between a natural pull away and with a game, it's like a natural pull away is like, you know, when you girls, when you get tired and sick of someone, how much time do you need to have space from that person? As women, we don't need that much time usually, but guys need more time. And it's, it's, we have it as a need. So we need like one, two, three, four days max, sometimes five, right? Like five maximum. I don't know a guy who needs to pull away more than five days. Normal guys pull away one, two days on the third one. We are all over you, right? Guys who are a bit more alphas, like, you know, they usually pull away three days. On the fourth one, they are all over you like crazy. Guys who play games, they will pull away from you five, six, seven days, eight, you know, and then they're going to come. If you're not chasing them, they will come back and they will come back insecure because he's pulling away. If you're like, this is the goal, ladies. If he pulls away from you for a week because he's playing a game, don't chase him. Because if you don't chase him, this is how you will win this game. Because what's happening is he is the one not contacting you. He is the one pulling away from you. And when he realizes that his game is not working, so he'll be freaking out. Same as you're panicking. He'll be panicking more because he's the one who's pulling away. And then he'll come after you. And when he's coming after you after that week, he'll be like literally calling you like, hey, babe, <laughs> how are you? Is everything okay? And this is when you are calm, collected, deep breath. Oh, it's finally, okay. Hey, yeah, everything's good. Good. Yeah, I've been great. Thank you. Yeah. Yeah, I've been so busy. I had so many things. Oh, was it a week? Oh, my God. Was it a week? Oh, my God. Time flies when you have fun. Because that's what he deserves, right? I'd be like, yeah. <laughs> anyway, okay, ladies, let me, um, I think, how many did I do? Three. Let me see your questions now. No, it's not okay. It's not okay for them to do that. I agree with you girls. It is not okay for them to do that. But welcome. Welcome, welcome to the... To the reality you know like this is kind of how it goes okay let me see your questions because i can look at it now on my laptop uh my lovely queen can you give me some tips i'm meeting his family for christmas to buy to buy to him a present see what presents he's gonna give you you know like ladies with or actually christmas is coming okay christmas is coming ladies uh See what kind of presents he is giving you. Make sure that your presents are not bigger than his, because if your presents are bigger than his, you're actually the one pursuing him. Okay, it's his job to charm you. It's his job to impress you. It's job, his job to sweep you off your feet. He is a giver. You are a receiver, right? You can give him something nice for his birthday or Christmas, but he is the giver. You are a receiver. So make sure that you're not over pursuing him by giving him a present. Really important. Because if you literally sweep him off your feet during Christmas and he gives you nothing after the Christmas, he will literally pull away from you. 
he'll he'll pull away from you after Christmas. Let me share a story with you girls. It's a very good story. I probably shared it in one of my YouTube videos. This has actually happened to my friend. And it's a very good story. So she, uh, we're not friends anymore. <laughs> anyway, uh, she was, um, she was behaving with her boyfriend really, really low value. Okay, she was like being very low value. Poor girl, she was, she basically was trying to coach her, but what she was doing, she was watching too many dating coaches. She was reading too many go books and she got confused. You know, for example, I would tell her, you give too much you need to stop giving, you need to get yourself together and be high value. Whereas in another book, she would read like, you need to treat men as kings, right? So she would be like, oh my God, I need to be high value, but I need to treat men as kings. So what she would do, she would compliment and give and give and give, and the guy would really get turned off. So basically it got a big, big mess, right? And her relationship was falling apart. Uh, he was taking her extremely for, for granted. He was not talking to her much, like avoiding her, um, not going to parties with her. It was just horrible. And I remember it was his birthday coming up. And she shared with me what she's going to do for his birthday. And I said to her, oh, my God, please don't do that. She didn't listen and she did that. And what she did, she hired a whole venue for his birthday. She made a massive, massive party for him. He, she invited all, he was a foreign guy. So she invited all of his friends. She like did like a feast for him. And it was a surprise party. And on top of that, she made her parents to cook him a cake and she gave him a present as well. He enjoyed the party. <laughs> Who wouldn't, right? He enjoyed the party. All of his friends were there, like everybody was where he really enjoyed the party. On his Facebook, he shared lots of pictures of the party and not even one picture was she in. He didn't say any thank yous. And um, after this, Christmas was coming and he was um, behaving with her so disgustingly that she ended up breaking up with him. But it's like, it's like, it's, it's like she broke up. It was insane because she broke up with him out of, um, she exploded, she exploded on him emotionally and she broke up with him. But as soon as she said that, she was trying to take it back. And then she was begging him to come back. And then he put the blame on her and he said, well, you broke up with me. It's this. And can you like now, girls, can you see the manipulation in here? This is insane. This is this is such a manipulation that guys do. It's insane. Um, and on top of that, wait, and on top of that, this guy was was pursuing this girl, my friend, for half a year before she decided to be in a relationship with him because she was not that interested in the beginning. And then when they were having a bad relationship, he was telling her, I feel such an idiot. I feel like such an idiot to be chasing you because I was chasing you for half a year. He said, like, now it's your turn to chase me because I chased you for half a year. Now, do you understand, girls, why he started behaving like such a, um, do you get it? It's because she started behaving low value. Because she, he, when he was pursuing her for half a year, she was really, really high value, right? Because, like, she was naturally, she was not high value. She was just not interested, right? So she had the power, he was pursuing, he was sweeping her off her feet. She was happy because she was getting all this attention. And, um, and he was happy because his need uncertainty was fulfilled. So he was doing that for half a year, right? Then after that, uh, she got hooked on him because he was pursuing, pursuing, she got hooked on him. 
and she started behaving low value. She started overgiving, blah, 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 stroking his ego, making him into a king, right? So she started giving him the power, right? Then he got so fed up of this power because this she was not fulfilling his love needs anymore. She was giving him too much safety and security. In return, he was giving her nothing. He was just walking all over her and taking her for granted, right? Because as I said in the beginning of this video, this is what does not work. Then she was freaking out. She was like, oh my God, what do I do? What do I do? You know, and she tried more to give him even more. And this is when he totally like lost all the attraction for her and everything failed. But sorry. So going back where he said, like, I, I regret for like chasing you for that half a year. I feel like an idiot because she started behaving so low value and he was like, oh my God, I didn't sign up for this. I can't believe I was chasing this low value woman for half a year. What was I thinking? You know, if she sustained being high value, he would have been telling everyone, oh my God, I was chasing my queen for half a year. She's so worth it. She has so much value. I'm so in love with her. You know, you see, and then, but because some guys are a bit pussies, which I like, this is, this is something that I myself can't stand up. Like, I just have no excuses for this and for men who do that. And it's, they are a bit too nice. They call themselves nice uh, by not breaking up with the girl, but instead treating her like crap. So she would break up with him, right? And a lot of men do that because we're trying to be nice and not hurt her feelings. So what happens, it's like we waste their time and it's obviously not God's fault. It's, you know, we need to take responsibility, but this is what we do. So what he did after that birthday party, when she throwed him that birthday party, he was horrible with her. So she would break up with him. And she did broke up with him, but because she was weak and vulnerable and um, uh, desperate, straight away after she panicked and she begged him back. And at the end of it, he manipulated her saying like, oh, you broke up with me. <laughs> oh my God, I'm laughing because it's, 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 it's funny, but it's not funny. It's just all these like, you know, okay, let me see what you've been saying. You know, girls, if you donate, your comment will stand out and then I'll be able to read it straight away. There is a lot of block talk sound sort of close. OK, don't know what's that. He blocked me after a fight. What can I do? Don't worry about it. When a guy blocks you after a fight, um, it's to get a reaction from you. It's to get you go crazy. He, he, him blocking you after a fight, it's him overreacting. He got affected. He got affected by the fight and he overreact and he blocked you. If somebody says to you, let's stop it, right? I'm blocking you. You actually, the best thing to do in a world, the best thing to do in a world, sorry, respect his decision, Oh, you blocked me. Okay. I uh, I really respect your decision at blocking me because it's a communication. It's a sign. It's a style of communication saying, I don't want to hear from you. So if you don't want to hear from me and you're blocking me, I'm going to respect your decision very much and I'm not going to contact you. Now who's going to get insecure because the game is not working because what majority of women will do, right? What majority of women will do when a guy blocks them, he'll, they, they will get insecure and they will start going crazy. And you're going to be like, oh my God, I'm so sorry. I'm blah, 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 blah. And this is when he gets more power and his ego gets strong and he's like, oh, she's chasing me, you know, like all of that stuff, right? But instead, if he blocks you and you go like, Oh, I see. I'm going to be very high value and I understand and I'm going to respect your decision 
so much because with your communication style that you don't want to hear from me anymore and I'm not going to chase you. So if you want to talk to me again, you'll have to get in contact. High value. High value always wins. High value always gives you respect. Okay? Yeah. <laughs> Greta, my friend asked her boyfriend, would he ever cheat on her in the future? And he said he can't guarantee anything. What should she do? She's freaking out. No. <laughs> he pushed her buttons. This He was cheeky. He played a game. Ladies, this is why I say don't ask insecure questions. Like if you if if you're asking a guy insecure question, he'll be like, oh my god. Okay, so like you're 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 a guy, right? Guys are cheeky, they know the game, they love the game, and you're coming to a guy like with an insecure question. He's gonna take that question because he's taking the power, and you'll be like which way shall I tease her? Which way shall I make her more insecure, panic and chase me like nonstop and stroke my ego at the same time? By telling her that maybe perhaps I'll cheat on you in the future. Who knows? So when he tells you this, right? What is, what is his goal when he tells you this? He's like, okay, if I'll tell her this, She's probably going to try and impress me more. She'll probably give me more um, attention. She'll probably be a better girlfriend. She'll give me more power. She's going to get stuck to me more, right? You literally told, you, you ladies, you sharing your insecurities with a guy, like when you come with an insecurity, majority of the time, depending on how he feels that day, right? He's going to take that insecurity and he's going to do, he's going to play it. He'll play it. He'll play it. Like never ask men insecure questions. Work on those questions. Ignore it. Tell her, ignore it. Tell her to ignore it. <laughs> you know, like it's like, don't ask these questions like that. A guy will never cheat on a woman that he really, really loves because that's too much of a risk. Imagine if you're his dream woman right? You're high value. You're, let's say you're his queen. He met, he like a high value woman is like one in a million and he meets his queen finally. And you bond and click and his love for you is extreme and insane, right? He never felt this way before. You think he's going to cheat on you? Like, it doesn't make sense. Why? The woman that men cheat on is the one that we are not scared to risk. When he's cheating, he knows that he's taking a risk. He's taking a risk of losing you and he's still willing to take that risk. So if he's taking that risk, he's risking you. A man is not going to risk something that he loves and adores so much. It does not make sense. So instead of asking him insecure questions, or work on yourself, become that woman that he's, he sees as a dream girl, as a high value woman, Do you know, yeah, don't, but like, ladies, with the insecurities, work on them, don't wear your heart on a sleeve, don't wear your insecurities on a sleeve, you know, he'll play them, he'll play them, sometimes not, not every single guy will play with your insecurities, but, don't risk it unless you really know the guy, unless you know that he's a nice guy, he's a good guy, he, you know he's crazy about you in every single way, then you can share an insecurity once in a blue moon and see how he reacts to it. But don't share something like cheating, share something different, something a bit not as personal. If a guy doesn't contact me for three weeks and then messages me, should I bother replying? It depends. Um, if it's not your boy, if it's a random guy, if it's not your boyfriend, then yes, fine. Like, you know, like I have friends I don't contact for two years, <laughs> you know, and when I contact, I'm like, hey, I'm coming over. <laughs> They're like, okay, because it's fine because it's your friend, right? It's like you've been busy, let's say, right? Like it's fine. But if it's um, your boyfriend, then it's different. <laughs> you know, it's like, it's seriously like that. If it's, if it's a guy, 
friend and it's been three weeks. You don't have, you're not in a relationship. It's your guy friend. You know, it's fine. But if you're in a relationship, three weeks, no, that's not acceptable. Um, I saw, I saw a message on the phone. My, okay. My ex got back with me after two years, almost married me, then played me all over again. He hasn't reached out in two weeks. How do I gain my power back? Don't chase him. Don't chase him. Let him come to you. Don't chase him. Sorry, my head started hurting for some reason. Don't chase him and let him come to you. This is how you'll get your power back. Uh, yeah, and then keep going high value. Do the right thing. Like, for, you know, learn... Um, Use everything that I coach in my YouTube videos. Join my VIP. In my VIP, ladies, this is in my VIP groups. We are paid groups, but we're not that expensive. You all, majority of you can afford them. This is where we share the details, like the details. You know, like today in the live, I'm sharing a lot of details with you. But in my groups, we share specific details, what exactly you need to do, what exactly you need to say. So it works out for you. In my videos, I can't share these details because every relationship is different. Every situation is different. Congrats, paid questions, option. Any, but yeah, the only thing is I'm answering all the free questions. So <laughs> maybe I should be like, hmm, you need to pay if you want it to be answered. Anyway, it's a free life, so it's fine. So I did, okay. Some Someone's phone begging to unblock him. Okay. Of course, let me find a question where you're not talking to each other. Dear Greta, how can women test if a guy is exclusive with them? Thank you for how much. If a guy is exclusive with them, you don't need to test. He is the one. He is the one telling you. He is he like when a guy is in love with you. When a guy wants to be exclusive with you, you will know. He is gonna mark his territory all over. He'll be like, oh my God, this is a woman of my dreams, or at least he'll think like maybe perhaps I have met the girl of my dreams, and he'll be like. Will you be my girlfriend? Will you be exclusive with me? He'll be introducing you to every single woman as, as a girlfriend. You will know. When a guy is crazy about you, you will know. He'll show it off. There, you won't be questioning it. The problem is that when you're not behaving correctly and the guy doesn't know are you a girlfriend material or not, Right, this is when he's kind of hiding you, he's a bit unsure. When he's unsure, you're getting insecure, right? Because you're like, Are we exclusive? Are we not exclusive? What is happening? But when you're behaving the correct way, you'll be like, Oh my god, I better like make her into my girlfriend because someone else will take her. And this is when he'll mark your, his territory like crazy. You will know, he'll show it in every single way. Um, if a guy is pursuing me and he's not my usual type, should I still give him a chance if he's an alpha male? It's up to you, girls. I don't choose the guys for you. It's your choice. Your choice. <laughs> you know, I'm only helping you to bring out the best in the guys that you choose. You know, my choices of man might be very different from your choice of man. And I'm pretty sure it is, <laughs> you know, so it's like, I don't choose the guys for you. You choose your own guys. You know, like if you're, if you're sometimes, sometimes it does happen that you're not that attracted to the person and the attraction grows, the attraction grows uh, when you spend time with them. And a lot of times it does happen that, oh my God, you know, like I didn't feel it in the beginning, but through spending time together, you know, I feel like I'm developing feelings for you. You don't say that, but you can feel it, right? It does happen sometimes. He's... 
Rena, what if he asks you, where is this going and what do you want? He's feeling insecure. Where is this going and what do you want? Tell him, um, I'm taking things slow. Just tell him, like, you know, I like to take things slow and I'm enjoying the moment. <laughs> I'm enjoying the moment. Ladies, a man's card, right? A man's card is, nowadays, let's enjoy the moment. Okay, this is like a guy's favorite thing <clears throat> nowadays, right? Let's enjoy the moment. So when he tells you, where is this going? You say like, oh, I'm just enjoying the moment. <laughs> All good. <laughs> See how he reacts. He'll love it. He'll love it and he won't even know how much he loved it. <laughs> it's good. It's good. Choosing by type seems silly. I agree. I actually agree, like, I don't choose by type as well. I don't, I couldn't care less which country, which color. This is, it. I couldn't, like, it's, my type is here. My type is high value. My type is personality. That's my type. Yes, you need to be, my type is the person being the best version of themselves. That's my type. And I don't care about anything else. You know, like it's really a person being strong and being the best version of themselves. And that's very ultra attractive. That's my type. So, yeah. So when people go like, you know, it's just, I find it ridiculous. Greta, what if he asks, okay, we did this one. I, Man, I think some of words are reserved for special woman or man close to your heart. I think so too. Like guys, will, like, you know, like, um, guys will tell you flattery and promises, yes, to seduce and charm you. But then he actually does fall in love with you. You know, like when he actually really does fall in love with you, the words that you will hear won't even compare to the beginning. They're going to be so much nicer and so much charming and just so much. It's just going to it's just going to be amazing, you know, like because what he's telling you in the beginning, it's kind of like, you know, tested all of that. It's general stuff. Right. But when he falls in love with you, and if he is that charming guy, he will think of the nicest things to say. Because now there is feelings involved, and he wants to express it as well. So, yeah, it's really beautiful. It's, it, is, it, is, it is just nice. <laughs> it's very beautiful. Okay, ladies, I'm going to go. I know you're actually piling up now, which is annoying because now I, I need to go. But um, yeah, ladies, for detailed advice, I would say join my VIPs. How to join my VIPs? You can book it through my website, ladiesrelationshipcoach.com. My VIPs are gold. This is where you get the coaches giving you advice and like specific detail and women supporting each other. After this live, I'll link the VIP as well, um, how to join that group in this video description too, okay? So you're welcome, girls. You're welcome, ladies. You're welcome. You know, actually how I did that in the beginning, I was filming a video and then I was like, oh my God, I'll have to be editing it all day. I don't have any energy. <laughs> and then I was like, let me go on a live instead. So this is the live on Sunday. You're going to get a video. <laughs> okay, girls. So kisses. Have a beautiful day.